Self-test kits accuracy problems rise. The number of daily COVID-19 infections in South Korea increased substantially to a new high of roughly 50,000 on Wednesday as the highly transmissible Omicron spreads rapidly across the country. The public is becoming more concerned about the accuracy of self-test kits due to the recent rise in their usage under the country's new medical response guideline, since many instances with differing self-test kits and PCR test results have been verified. In screening clinics in Gwangju, Junnam, Pyongtak and Anseong in Gyeonggi province from January 26 to 31, only 76.1% of individuals who tested positive were proven to be positive in PCR testing, according to the medical community on Wednesday. One out of every four persons received a false positive test result, meaning they were not sick. Rapid antigen tests were performed on Kim Jun Su five times before he was determined to be HIV positive on February 6. Only individuals who test positive in a fast test will be eligible for PCR testing under the government's new method, which excludes people who are in high-risk categories. The Ministry of Food and Drug Safety clarified that self-test kit's sensitivity and positive predictability are distinct concepts, and that self-test kits are not inaccurate. It is only those self-test kits that have passed clinical studies that are allowed by the Food and Drug Administration. Using a self-test kit with 90% sensitivity and 99% specificity in a circumstance where 3 out of 100 persons are sick, the positive predictive value is 73.6%, according to the Ministry of Health. Only when 10 out of 100 persons are afflicted can a self-test kit be utilized with 90.9% accuracy. To put it another way, if there are a greater number of infected persons, the likelihood of a person being diagnosed rises, but the likelihood of a person being diagnosed falls. According to the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, the government recorded 49,567 new COVID-19 illnesses on Wednesday, bringing the total to 1,131,248. KDCA over the last two weeks, the Omicron variety has seen a roughly fourfold increase in new infections.